Greetings, my family in Christ. Praise God. Things are coming alive with a little bit of moisture we've had uh, over the last weeks. I hope you're doing well. We're seeing some uh, black eyed, sweet black eyed Susans coming along. I think that's what these are. And then the other ones that are starting to wane are the early sunflowers. And there are a few yellow cone flowers mixed in. We'll move around and see what else is coming along in the garden. But for now, let's enjoy some of this yellow splendor. And I see the Culver's root is coming along, and boy, will that be a joy when that comes. You all will love that. So I think this is a sweet Black Eyed Susan. Today, we're going to talk about forgiveness and faith in Luke 17, 1 through 10. One day, Jesus said to his disciples, there will always be temptations to sin, but what sorrow awaits the person who does the tempting? It would be better to be thrown into the sea with a millstone hung around your neck than to cause one of these little ones to fall into sin. So watch yourselves. If another believer sins, rebuke that person. Then if there is, is repentance, forgive. Even if that person wrongs you seven times a day and each time turns around and asks forgiveness, you must forgive. The apostle said to the Lord, Show us how to increase our faith. The Lord answered, If you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, May you be uprooted and be planted in the sea, and it would, be, and it would obey you. When a servant came in from plowing or taking care of sheep, does his master say, Come in and eat with me? No, he says, Prepare my meal, put on your apron, and serve me while I eat. Then you can eat later. And does the master thank the servant for doing what he was told to do? Of course not. In the same way, when you obey me, you should say, We are unworthy servants who have simply done our duty. So we are told right then, it sounds like to me, to be humble. We are blessed to be here, and we should be thankful that we can be honored to do God's will and work. And we are mere servants. <laughs> we are told, we are instructed in what to do, and told to obey, and we do it, and that is our reward for his love, His grace, His mercy, He gives us far more than we could ever give back to Him. And our small pay of doing His will, I'm sorry I'm distracted by these goldfinches in here. They're blending in as bright as these yellow flowers. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I've not really seen that before. So it's a blessing to to be able to work for Jesus and we heard what the outcome should be for someone tempting someone to sin and if someone comes with us uh, to ask forgiveness even though they continually sin against us we are to give that forgiveness honestly the only th person that not forgiving someone else hurts is ourselves harboring that ill will. Can you see that goldfinch in there? That is awesome. I guess they're after bugs or the, I don't think the flowers have already gone to seed, but he's really working on that flower. That's pretty cool. And then how to move, have faith of a small mustard seed. I am not sure that this is literal. And we talked about this with the mustard seed moving prayer, the faith of a mustard seed moving a mountain uh, in the other Gospels. So I think it's just that if we have faith, God can move the mountain, that we are blessed with Him loving us and taking care of us. And in a way, that that is moving mountains, isn't it? Can you imagine all the children God has to take care of, us being His children? He has multitudes. And he has to give us all grace and love and peace. So we are blessed with his 
his um, taking care of us, serving us. So the least we can do is willingly, willingly follow him and seek faith. Even small as a mustard seed, he will abide in us and we will be given all the tools and the nurturing that we need to get us through this life. I hope you all enjoy your blessings today. Thank God for them and enjoy them. And I'm sorry, I've been very distracted. I can't believe the goldfinch came up here this close to me. I hope you got to see it. I'm not sure there was another thing that flew away. I don't think it was a hummingbird. I don't know exactly what it was, but it could have been. You all seek your blessings and enjoy them and thank God for them. Amen.